All right, so my camera's at 12% and I'm just gonna quickly talk about this because I forget to talk about movies I like on here uh, because I tend to just only talk about movies I don't like. I realize I, I never talked about Dune Part 2, even though I talked about Dune Part 1. Actually, this is not about Dune, so um, this is about a lovely German movie called Devil's Bath, and it's on Shudder right now, and it's it's a it's a slow movie. I call it a slow-ass movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's called a slow burn. I'm like, what do they call a slow-ass movie? It's called a slow burn. That's what my brain is slowly burning. Um, and... And so it's about whatever back in the day kind of shit, you know, living on farms, all that stuff. And this woman who's a bit weird, you know, I'm collecting trinkets and all that stuff. And then she gets kind of like, hey, you're going to marry this guy. And she's kind of like, okay, I'm going to marry this guy. And then she's just like not happy. And the entire movie is just like her just trying to like deal with this marriage that she probably didn't want to be part of, you know. But then she's like, well, I gotta because, you know, this was back in the day where, you know, you, you, you just gotta. Um, no choice. None of that shit. Um, I'll go into spoilers in a second. But yeah, so I really enjoy this movie. Like I said, it's a slow burn. It's very interesting. Just it's it's a slow burn, but it's not boring. Something is always happening. But obviously, it's one of those movies where it slow burns to the third act where then, like, shit really goes awry. That's where it's like, oh, God. But again, it, it makes sense why it's a slow burn. Because you're, you're, you're kind of suffering <laughs> along with her, you know? Like, you're like, man, this movie's kind of slow. And then she's like, I don't want to be part of this marriage. And you're like, yeah, girl, I'm with you, you know? But anyway, I guess I'll go into spoilers. One, two, three, spoilers. Every day, you know, it's like she wakes up, she, you know, does do, does the chores kind of stuff. The guy's mom is just like, talk, talk about like mother-in-law from hell kind of thing. She's definitely, she judges her on everything she does. Oh, your house isn't organized correctly. Oh, my husband likes things made this way. That'll make him happy. How do you not know how to cook it? Okay, you're not good at cooking at it, but yeah. Oh, have you ever worked in your life? Why are you so slow? And, like, all that stuff. Like, there's a part where they all go to, like, the river and, like, catch a fuck ton of fish. And she's a bit sl slow on it. And then they're all just, like, everyone's just, like, judging her. And I'm just like, Jesus fucking Christ, calm the fuck down. And anyway, so... So the movie is just a lot of that. And then whenever she needs, like, time to herself, which is usually anytime she's super stressed out, she just goes and, like, takes a nap in the woods like 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 a crazy bitch does you know she doesn't come home she doesn't you know because she because her husband's like mom like her mother-in-law is there all the time she you know and then and then also like the husband's always like too tired to have sex with her so they they haven't like had a baby yet and then they get judged on not, not having a baby yet and it's just like she's you know she wants to get a nut and she's frustrated and then the guy is just kind of like this dude that just around with his annoying ass mom and then she's just kind of like well i'll just probably go back into the fucking forest like the weird bitch that i am you know and do weird bitch in the forest shit and then the movie you learn that like in the beginning there's a woman who like took a baby and then just like threw it over a wa waterfall like that's me <laughs> and then you just see like her beheaded body like at like an altar and you're like all right cool man you know <laughs> so fucked up and then as the movie progresses on and again you see how she's like upset and not happy and not having it there are days where she doesn't even get out of bed and you know obviously she's depressed so yeah like i said the the woman gets very depressed um like like i said like one would i mean again watching this i was like jesus christ like my life sucks but at least it's not that lady and so um yeah so she, so like i said every day she's just kind of like does less and less you know stuff for the household how dare she because it's like fuck it you know the, your mother-in-law hates you everyone around thinks you're worthless or whatever shit because again you can't you're not conceiving a child especially a son because your stupid husband isn't why in the fuck you you know so like i said slowly but surely she's just like insanely depressed not doing all that stuff and like i said what makes her happy is just fucking going and like chilling in the woods and doing all that stuff and there was one day where you know, like, they, they gave her shit for, you know, not being good enough with the fish thing. The next day she was like, all right, I'll go there early and start doing myself. And then everyone, even her husband, is yelling at her like, 
what the fuck are you doing there by yourself? You know, you could get yourself killed and da da da. And she's like, fuck, man. Like, I'm just, okay. And then, like, before, when she was, like, distributing bread to people, like, to, to the workers, and someone asked for two, she's like, yeah, sure, here's another slice. And then mother-in-law reprimands her and was like, how dare you do that? You know, Arr, all that stuff. And it's like, well, okay. And then, and then when she was asked again by a pregnant woman, and the woman's like, she like looked at the mother-in-law and she's like oh, i'm sorry i can't and she's like fuck like she feels terrible and the woman's like really bitch like i'm pregnant okay and then the mother-in-law is like you should she should be happy that we're giving her anything and it's like oh my god these people are so fucking awful you know and again it's like i get again why this bitch is unhappy ah you know and again it's a slow burn movie as it keeps going on you know again she like she passes that altar with the, the headless lady a lot and she's like well th this is my life kind of thing or she's kind of like maybe this should be my life you know a headless woman like you said as the days progress she's just like she would like disappear at night all that stuff just, just like you know just more and more and then at one point she's just like trying to take her own life and 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 it, so oh yeah so she's trying to take her own life so there's rat poison so she's just like in a um, some rat poison she's like getting some rat poison in me uh, yep that's the rat poison coming up on me she's like "Ooh, get that rat poison maybe i'll die so of course she's like oh, oh, oh. oh like lethargic and like fucked up and then the doctor is like have you been eating rat poison she's like how do you know you know and they're like you can't be doing that and she's like why not i want to die i hate my life and they're like oh god so then of course because they're like super religious because yeah, all that stuff and they're just like hey she what was it like they, like they 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 put a piece of horse hair on the back of her neck like in between her neck like where a lot of weird girls get like a piercing at you know, where I think like if you squeeze it too hard, you forget math or something. But like in the back of her neck, they like they just put a piece of horse hair on it, and she has to like tug on it, like 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 a hoodie string, you know, every day. So like, so, so one, it's like the wound doesn't close all the way, and two, that like all the bad stuff leaks out because that's how depression works. Is that depression is just like you know, it's like being bled by leeches. It's like that's how we get rid of the bad stuff. So they'll see like pus and shit coming out. And they're like, oh. That's just the, the the bad brain stuff. Well, I don't even think they know it's the, coming from the brain. But they're like, oh, that's just the, the bad stuff coming out. I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't cure the depression. That's just pus because you have an open wound on your neck. But who fucking knows it was fucking back in the day. So, you know, she's just like tugging on it and all that stuff. Because that was part of like the promo thing where I was like, what is this? And then I heard it was like German folklore or whatever. And I was like, all right, you sold me. So... She's tugging on it anytime she's like feeling terrible. It's like a different way of self-harm where instead of like, oh, I'm going to take a little slice of myself. She's like, tug on the horse hair, you know? So she's doing that. And then she, she gets better in a sense, but then she'll still be like rat poison. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, again, I get it, girl. Me too. Like if I, that was my life, I would have, I mean, I would have rat poisoned the husband and the mother-in-law, but again, to each his own. I get it, you know? So more, you know, she gets more and more depressed, all that stuff. She's finally like practically like catatonic. She's like fucked because obviously the rat poison, she's so mentally like gone and all that stuff. So they have her kind of like kind of committed, kind of not. They don't really have committed things back in the day. She's just kind of over there. You know, they were like, we're just going to put you over there for the time being, kind of get you away from everyone. And so, um, so at one point she like, takes like this baby from someone and she like comes over or like i think i have my timeline fucked up but anyway either way she at one point had taken like a baby home to the husband she's like look it's a i got us a baby and it's a boy and the the, the husband's like where the fuck did you get this baby you know and she's like it's like the lord blessed us we have a baby now and fucking you know like the, the, the husband's like no bitch like what, where did you steal the baby? Put the baby back, you know? And she's like, oh, we got a baby. We finally got a baby. And it was like, oh my God. And uh, and then you're thinking to yourself, like, wait, is she going to... Like, you already know by then. She, she's probably going to do the same thing that the woman in the beginning of the movie did, which was take the baby and throw it. And then she, you know, got her head chopped off for, you know, being a bad person kind of thing. And so, 
So they, they, they put the baby back. And then, you know, she, again, she's trying to, like, reconcile all stuff. Again, religion and all that shit. At one point, she takes, like, this this young boy who's, like, probably 8, 10. I don't know how old children are. Um, this young boy, she goes, come with me to this thing. Say a prayer with me and da-da-da, right? So, you know, they're there. They're, like, saying the prayers. And then after the little kid's done with the prayer, she just slices his neck. And I was like, whoa! You know? And I don't have that kind of response often when i watch movies because i see so much especially in the horror realm where like everything is very predictable and all that stuff i mean again you can kind of see where this movie is going you can kind of see where it's going but it's not like predictable in the sense that i knew that was coming i was just like what is she gonna do i didn't think she was gonna slice the kid's like throat i i don't i don't know what i was thinking and then again this movie's a slow burn so you're, you're I, I don't fucking know where it was gonna go you know because half the time i was just like damn this movie is so good i mean again i still i really like the movie um she slices a kid and the kid is like ah, like on the ground because he's a kid so he's like screaming like ah, all that stuff and then she's like shut up shut the fuck up and he's like yeah i'm dying you know all that stuff so you know he's dead and because of that, they're like, well, you committed a crime and all that stuff. And, uh, oh, speaking of that, so the woman who got her head chopped off because she threw the kid over the water, um, she was allowed to go to heaven because she gave her confession before her execution. So it was like, okay, that's totally fine. But one of their friends or something like that, the friend of the husband, um, he ended up, uh, they found him like hanged in like a barn or something. And because he committed suicide and all that stuff, they just, like, threw his body in a field of, like, garbage, you know? And it's like, well, no, can't bury you. That That's against Jesus. Conk, you know? So with her, she's like, well, like, damn, eating this rat poison, I can't kill myself because I won't go to heaven. So what if I commit a crime, right? So what if I kill this child? And then I go to jail and then they are going to execute me because I killed a child. And then before I'm executed, I just say, hey, my bad. I didn't mean to. This wasn't working well. I love Jesus. OK, cool. I could go to heaven now. Just right a little off the top, you know, and that's pretty much what happened. They put a bag over her head and then she starts like like singing some song. And there's a little girl in the audience who's probably like. 14 or something it was, it was just like la 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 like singing along with her la 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 and then the executioner whoa bow cuts her head and all of a sudden she's like la 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 oh and then everyone is like gathering around like with bowls and cups as like the blood is shooting out of the you know the head is off she's just psh, fucking you know argento fucking style and they're all like collecting the blood and they're like yeah give me the blood and i'm just like what the fuck it's wrong with y'all. They're like, give me the blood. I don't know. You know, get a whole ass. Just like, fill up. Fill my Stanley. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I just choked on my drink. Mm, give me the blood of a woman who killed a child. You know? I mean, that's how I stay so young, is that I uh, drink the blood of people who've killed children. I don't drink the blood of children. Uh, I need to stop joking like that because people tend to think I'm being serious when I say horrible things like that. And also my art doesn't help uh, with the case. Anyway, so she's dead, right? And then so like pretty much the movie like ends with just being like, well, look at that. This bitch is crazy. And then the movie ends with like several title cards that talk about how like back in the day, a lot of women wouldn't be happy <laughs> and they would want to commit suicide, but they know they wouldn't go to heaven because they commit suicide so a lot of them would commit a crime and then be executed and then that way before they're executed they can give their confession their last rites all that stuff and then they would be allowed into heaven so it's kind of like current day suicide by cop kind of thing you know where you're like you want to die but you don't want to do it yourself so then you you know you call like a SWAT team on your house and then you kind of you know let nature take its course so that was oh yeah and the, the whole title of the devil's bath is that she she gets to this like mentally fucked point where they call it the devil's bath which i think that, that just means severe depression depression severe de severe depression yeah so 
that that's pretty much it i like i said i really enjoyed this movie it is a slow burn but it, it is worth it because it shot really well the acting was great because you really wanted to punch that mother-in-law in the face and you wanted to hit that freaking husband because he's like just like a dumbass but uh you obviously felt bad for the woman um and this is kind of like Kind of like how back in the day were like, you know, you couldn't get like divorced and then they would tend to like poison their husbands and stuff, you know. But anyway, so yeah, that was the devil's bath. Um, this camera is far too close to my face. My hair is falling out because I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I'm not. I'm joking. But oh my God, so much hair falling out. But yeah, anyway, yes, I'm done talking. Different camera angles. This camera makes my hair look crazy. All right. See ya.